you search for how to start a blog in 2021, you are lucky. Because today we will build a website in just five simple steps. So make sure to stick around because in the end of this video, you are going to have your own stunning, fully customized website. Don't worry if you complete beginner and if you never saw WordPress or websites or websites building in your life. It's going to be very beginner friendly video and I'm going step by step with five simple steps. When you finish those steps, you're going to have your own website. So those are the steps we are going to cover in this video. Choose a name, design and your targeted audience. Also write a text for your website. Step number two is to get your domain and your hosting. In third step, we're going to install WordPress and SSL. Step number four is web design and customization. And step number five, we're going to just check everything's okay and make your website mobile friendly. Below this video, in the description, you will find time steps. So you can go from step to step and find anything you need with the click of a mouse. Hi guys, my name is Ola from Income Ola and I'm helping you to grow online and amplify your power on YouTube and also blogs because I have many. So this video, as I told you, we're gonna build a website and not just website, I'm going to build my website for Income Ola. If you don't like something, be gentle with me in the comments and I'll be thankful for that. Now below this video, you're going to find all the steps so you can go from step to step, go back if you need, I'll walk you step by step. Now we're going to build our website with WordPress. Don't be afraid of WordPress. The most customization you can get and still beginner friendly, it's the WordPress. Also WordPress is the world's most popular content management system with 38% market share from all websites. It allows anyone with a computer and connection to internet to build their website in just a few minutes. The best part of WordPress is that you don't need any coding and any programming skills to build your website. From the other hand, it's highly customizable so you can change everything and get the result that you see big companies get with their websites. You don't have limitations that you have in other platforms. I'm so excited. I can't wait to start building my website. So let's start. Before you create your website, you do your research. First, you choose your name and you choose your brand. If you already have your company, you have your name and your brand. You make your logo, your pictures, your designs. You also write a text that will suit your audience. Make sure you have all the details for your social media and your phone number ready to set your website. Also, I strongly suggest to research your targeted audience and make sure you know what their pain points and how to directly talk to them. And if you want me to make a video about how to research your targeted audience, please write in the comments below and I'll be happy to do that. So the first step is split it to two. A, you check in your audience and what the pain point and how to talk to them. And B, you choose in your name and branding, color, fonts, pictures, slogan, logo, everything that connected to your branding. You're also going to write text for your website, about page, uh, services. This will save time when you build your website, you just drag and drop or copy paste text that you wrote. Sometimes I get inspiration just going and looking on other websites, looking what they doing and how it looks. And then I'm not copy, but I'm just get inspiration. The second step is to buy your domain and hosting. And what is domain? Domain is just the name of a website, something that you type to internet to get to the website. Facebook domain, for example, is facebook.com. The hosting is where you actually store all the data and all the information from your website. Websites don't just hang in the air. Every website you see have a server that stores all the information about this website. And when somebody types the name of this domain, the server sends all the information to this viewer. So the total cost of buying domain and your hosting company is going to be around $15 to buy domain and about three or four, sometimes even $10 a month for a hosting company. Depends which company you, you decide to use. 
So I already bought my domain Income Ola in GoDaddy for $20 and also I added domain protection and privacy. You don't have to do that, it's totally up to you. So it's easy to go and buy your domain. You just go to GoDaddy, you choose your domain name, you see what's available and please don't go too crazy. Sometimes when you want .com, it can offer you crazy prices. So just see if you can change the name of your domain a little bit. If you have a brand already set up, of course you can't. You also can go .online or .net. If you see .com with your name, cost like thousand dollars i don't think it's worth it it's totally up to you but fifteen dollars twenty dollars and something like that i think it's totally okay because don't forget you're gonna pay it every year and then when you choose your name you see it's available you just click okay or purchase you put your payment and you're done there are thousands of hosting companies out there and the one i like and the one i use for all my websites i built is Bluehost. By the way, some of the hosting companies provide you free domain. So check it out before you actually purchase your domain. Maybe you can find a hosting company that will provide you free domain. Now, as I told you, some companies offer you a free domain here. Bluehost have free domain name for the first year and free SSL certificate, which most of the companies also offer. They have support system for 24 seven. And the best thing I love about Bluehost is they have all in one dashboard. You just go into their dashboard, you can go from, to your website from there or manage your website from there, manage your hosting, do other things, everything in one place. So it's pretty simple to buy a hosting. Go to the description of this video, you'll see a link and it will take you to Bluehost. And it is affiliate link. Bluehost is very trustable. I recommend them just because I'm using them for many years. And if you decide to use my link, I will appreciate the support. So go to my link, click on that. It will take you to bluehost.com and click on get started. Now you have different hosting plans, most popular and those two. <laughs> and I say those two because you don't need anything more than the first one. Click on learn more and they explain here what is this and we'll just click on get started. And now you have to choose if you pay, if you get it for 12 months, 24 months or 36 months. If you change it for 12 months, you will pay more. I'm building a website here, I'm building a brand, I'm building a business. Of course, I'll take three years and I select it. You have three options here. You can create your new domain, you can use a domain you already own, or you can make one later. You don't have to make a domain right now. They'll give you just something temporary. I have domain, I already bought it, and it's income.com. Next. And you can create your new domain here. You, of course, can sign in with Google, but I just want to fill all the details. Basic 36 month price for $395 from per month. And you get SSL for free. And I will explain what is SSL later. I'll just uncheck things that you don't need. So now we put on payment information and we're done. I hope you don't hear that. It's my belly. And we got our hosting for our website. Don't worry, they'll send you email with all the details. Let's create our account. You want to create your account because the dashboard will lead you to your website and it will be easier to click on everything from one dashboard. You have everything you need in one dashboard. So this is the domain name and we create our password. Now let's log in with our new password. It doesn't really matter. Don't be stressed about it and because it's not, it don't really matter because you're going to customize your website. I'm just choosing blog. Um, I'm okay, but you choose whatever you think. And let's create a website. What type is it? My website is educational. Who are you creating site for? Myself. What would you like to add to your site? Store, about me, blog, continue. Tell us a little more about yourself. Well, you don't have to do that. 
Now here they offer you free themes or you can choose the premium one and we're going to install Astra anyway and I wanted to know how to do that if you choose different hosting companies so I won't do it from here I'll go we'll do it later from our website so let's just skip this step if we can skip this step and they're installing WordPress for us this is by the way very good they have many many articles and and they teach you how to do everything so this is your dashboard in Bluehost and now we are going to create our website this is your website and you see it from Bluehost you can just click on dashboard and you see all these extra things we don't need we want to get rid of all of this so because I purchased my domain from GoDaddy and now I purchased my hosting on Bluehost, I have to connect my domain to Bluehost. So it's easy to do. You'll get an email from Bluehost um, with payment confirmation. And if you scroll down, you'll see all the details, your domain, host, password, and also your name server. And you go to your company that you purchase your domain. I go to GoDaddy, I go to my domains, DNS management, and then I just change the name server one and name server two to the name servers I got from my mail. And if you have troubles, you always can reach their support, chat with them here. I already chatting with them, you can see and they will help you 24 7 GoDaddy will help you 24 7 and Bluehost will help you 24 7 so that's good so don't worry I'm not a techie at all and I figured it out so I'm sure you can figure it out also and if you need help just reach them and they will help you so now we connected our domain to our hosting company we installed our website and we have a domain name and hosting the first thing I like to do is to change my password. So you go to users and then you scroll down and next to your picture you click on edit. Scroll down again and then you can see new password, generate password. So you choose password, you make sure it's strong, you click on update profile. Incomola.com slash WP dash admin. So this is my username and my new password. Let's check it out. And this is my dashboard. And you see all this garbage. I'm sorry. All these things. This is the things that the hosting companies add to your account, um, promote, you can tell because they get probably paid for that or I know. They have deals with plugins and I'll explain what is plugin a little bit later, but you don't need all this. So we are going to get rid of it. So the first thing we change our password and now we're going to delete plugins. And a plugin is just a software, software add-on that installed to enhance the functions of our website. Most of these plugins that you see here are unnecessary. We don't need them. You go to plugins and you see all these plugins that we don't need right now. To erase them all without checking one by one, you just check this box and you mark all of them. Now I unmark Bluehost because I want it to stay. Then you click on bulk actions and deactivate them. First you have to deactivate them and then erase them. Apply. Now they all deactivated. Now you click again, you check again the box plugin, you uncheck Bluehost again and then in bulk actions you choose delete and click apply and you, you click OK. Now go back to your dashboard and it is much nicer this way. So now we're going to check that our WordPress is up to date. For this you're just going to update and it says we have the latest version of WordPress everything is up to date and we can continue 
So the next thing we have to do is to set our permalinks. Permalink is the full URL you see uh, for given post or page or other pieces of content on your site. From dashboard you're going to settings, permalinks, by default, WordPress gives us permalink that is not so SEO friendly and we're going to change it by choosing a post name. So let's log in to our new website. And I know it don't look very impressive right now, but don't worry, we're going to change it. And here you can see it's not secure because we don't have SSL certificate and we are going to change it. Most of the host companies give it to you free and Bluehost give, gives it to you free, you just have to ask for it. So you just go on chat with them, it's very simple, and you ask for your SSL and they will install, install it for you and usually it will take like between 15 minutes to a few hours and it will be there. After your URL, you just do slash wp dash admin this is the back end of your website. Now you have to put your username and your password. And you're going to plugins, add new, and in the search box just type SSL and you will see this plugin pops up. A really simple SSL. I already installed it. You will have here install and then you have activate. So I already installed it, now I just have to activate it. Your hosting company, company already installed the SSL for you. Now you just have to install it yourself from your end and you click on go ahead, activate SSL. Now you see this little lock in here. That means that your website is secured now. You see, now it's HTTPS instead of HTTP. And that means you have SSL installed in your WordPress. And people who go to your WordPress website won't freak out because they see it's not secure or something. Now let's go to your dashboard and start customizing your channel. Now the next step is to customize and do web design for your channel because obviously it don't look very good right now. And for this we're going to install theme, then we're going to install plugin for this theme and we're going to optimize and customize our channel for the best look. So let's go to our dashboard. For this we are going to put our URL or domain name, then slash wp-admin this will take us to manage our channel. Now to install a new theme, we are going to Appearance, Themes. And here you hit the plus button with Add New Theme. In the search box, you can type Astra. And this is our theme. So click Install. And now click Activate. Now you'll see all your website is going to change just because of the theme. And the theme is the general look of your website. The fonts, the colors, the places, how your homepage looks, how it built, how your menus built, and total look and structure of your channel depends on your theme. So now after we installed Astra theme, we are going to install the plugin. Go to plugins and new. So now type in the search box starter sites and choose this one by brainstorm force. Install now, you see five stars and 800,000 active installations. Click on activate and here it is. Now we're going to choose how our channel is going to look. And for this, we are going to go see library here or on appearance, you can go to starter templates. It's, it will take you to exactly the same page. So click on see library. And now you choose your builder. And as much as those builders are great, Elementor just taking them by far. Elementor is the best builder I ever used. Choose Elementor. And here, where is the magic happens? You can import a whole website 
to your website and then start customizing it from there. And I found this way is much simpler, much faster. It gives you many more ideas how to build your website. Because I like to use free, I'll go here and choose free. Now it shows me only the free templates. Even though you can see they have organic store or um, um, brand store online courses it doesn't mean that you can't change it for your purpose so don't feel like if this is life coach you can't make it for dentist or even online shop okay because this looks like much closer to me i'll choose this one so if you like this one you can go through the pages and look at how the page looks and when you decide which template you like, you just click Import Complete Site. Now it will take a few minutes and it will import the whole site, also the plugins you need for this website and other things. So just click Import. This can take between 2 and 10 minutes. From my experience it's closer to 2. It's very fast. So I'll be back to you when it's imported and important successfully and it took only one minute <laughs> so that's really fast and now we can view our website and i know it's not your name and it's not exactly the look you wanted and we are going to change everything so let's do a quick tour here's the name of your website and from here we can get, go to your dashboard themes widgets and menus widgets it's little things you can use like elements on your website now this is customized and from here you can customize the page the footer the header and change your logo and stuff like that here you can add post media and other stuff and edit page is just edit this page on the classic version and edit with elementor this is what we're going to use mostly because we're going to use elementor to change the pages this is our menu and this is our home page we are have we have button here we have our first blog page or last whatever she chose i don't know what it was we can check it later then we have categories i, I believe or some explanation about the uh, shopping tool and stuff and testimonials now to edit this page you just click on edit with elementor and here you can see we have this little blue pencils and this is how we change the whole page first explain how it built you have a section which is this whole thing you can click on the section edit section by clicking here delete or plus add another section then you have columns when you hover you see edit column and you have other elements like headings buttons text and more this is a section inside this section we have column this heading and this heading then we go down we have another section inside this section we have two columns one two this column is a picture which somebody moved a little bit up this column have heading and a text and a button here we have one section we have one column we have heading and we have another heading this another section we have one two three four columns inside the columns we have pictures we have four pictures this is another section we have one two three columns inside of each column we have image box so i hope you understand if you need more you can ask me in the comments and i will be happy to explain more now let's work on changing things Whatever you click here, you edit on the left side. So you click on this one and you see it's a title. And here you write what you want. Here you can add link to that so it will be clickable. You can change the size. And H2, H1 is the, the style of the heading. You see H1 is bigger, H2 is smaller, H3 is even smaller and so on and so on. Alignment, you can make it in the middle or on the right or on the left. 
Now you're going to style and here you can change the color. Typography is the font and text shadow, you have more advanced things. And advanced is mostly the spacing and stuff like that, motion effects, more advanced. Now in the style, we can change the color. You just click on that and you can make it red. Typography, when you click on that, you can change the size and you can change the font in the family section. You can use Roboto, which I think Google like to use. There was one I really like. Oh, I like secular. Secular one. Where is it here? I like this one. Then when you're going down, you can change the size and weight is how thick it is. And then if you're going 100, it's even thinner. Transform is just uppercase and lowercase. In the style, you can use normal italic and you can undo things by clicking Ctrl Z on PC or Command Z on the Mac. Okay, so let's move on. And here also you have content style and advance in content you change your what you write now let's go to buttons you click on a button and you see type type it just different styles info will be filled with colors success and you see different colors this is the icon you see you can change it you can change the size you can change the text you erase the hashtag and you can do whatever link you want or if you want a page from your website let's say you do the slash and then about and it will redirect to your website to the page about now alignment and of course you understand the size and icon icon is this little um, arrow you can change it by going to icon library or upload your own icon if you're going to icon library you can choose any other icon that you want let's say i like this one you click insert and it's changed and now you decide if it's going to be before the text or after the text when you're going down you can space it a little bit more or a little bit less when you're going to style you can change the font and the size in here You can drop a shadow and here the text shadow you can make it hover or normal which is hover it's only when you hover you'll see it you can change text color or background color if you want to make it or none now border type is this little white line that you have padding is just uh, spacing you have on the sides now if you're going to advanced you also see some padding here and you have motion effects if you go into motion effects you have animation entrance animation is when the page loaded and how you see your button loaded so if you choose for example fade in it's going to be fade in when the page loaded i'll just leave it on none so if you see when i hover this button it makes it bigger when i hover it with the mouse so how you do that or how you change that in the section style go down and see hover click on that and now you see all the options where you hover the button you have text color changes which it, we don't do if you change here then when you hover it will be different color let's say red now background color also you can change when you hover this or you can make it different color now here's the the animation that grow make it grows you see here grow and if you click on this and then you can make it shrink or pulse pulse and grow rotate different things also you can choose border type and radius and many other things or drop a shadow if you want from this box nice make it pink write in the comments if you like the pink color because i make my channel pink i don't know i like it okay we're done with the button this 
is the same. You click on that and you see a button, you see the icon here, you can change before, after, exactly the same. You can change this text by clicking on that, you see title, you can write whatever you want. Now what I wanted to show you is this picture, how she put this picture in this background. So you can change it and, or use yours. You go to style and you see this picture here, image. You can delete it or change it. You can use free images from Pixabay and it gives you the library. Or you can go to your media library from this website. When you imported this website, you imported a few pictures with it. Or you can upload files here. Select files and let me upload my picture. Pictures. I have a program I downloaded, it's Resize Pictures. And I make it medium. Resize every picture because you don't want them to be too heavy. Then your website pages will be uploaded very slowly. You want to increase your speed as you can. Now here's the picture and this is alt text. And alt text, as I understand, it's something that helps Google to find your pictures and if you give a good name for your pictures it will help Google to find your website through the picture too because it's connected. Title, I'll do the same. And insert media. If you don't want a picture you can choose different background type. You can choose just color gradient you can choose a video you can add link for here or slideshow and here you can uh, select images and it will go slideshows few images but i like my image and i'll go down you can center it as default center center and we're just going down attachment fixed attachment fixed that means when you scroll down it stays, the picture stays. If you change it, you move the picture with you when you're scrolling down. Scroll is the same. And fixed is the picture stays and you're scrolling down and it stays in place. Now, repeat is you take the picture and it repeats a few times. It makes it smaller and repeats a few times. Okay, now you can change the hovering over the picture, hovering over the background when you choose this option and then you can just change it. Let's say you hover over it, you want it to just turn black or something or change another picture. You always can do that here and transition duration too. So we're still editing the section and we have background overlay. And let's say you want color, you can change the color too. You see how it changed? It's like a little filter that you apply to your picture. You like it bright, you can put white, then black will make it darker. Okay, now you move to border. And the border is here. And you can change it instead of just plain. Dashed. But now we can do shape divider. And this is much fun. I like to use shape divider. You can choose top or bottom. And we'll choose bottom because we want to divide here and then you choose different let's say mountains you see how nice it is or this till capacity i usually use mountains or waves where is the waves oh, here waves brush also I like and regular waves i like to use regular waves now if it's too harsh you can make it a different width also, you can play with the color. And this is our shape divider. Let's do it to mountains. I like mountains. So this was the first section. Here you change exactly the same. Now let's see what she did here. Click on the section and we'll see. It's boxed. You have the color. If you look in the style, 
you'll see that this is the color of the background. This column have a picture and this column have a text and heading. Now I want to show you how to change the whole style of your theme. I think I did mention that if you want to change the fonts and the colors all over your theme, you have to change theme style. So you go here to these three lines and then you go to site settings and here you have theme style, typography, buttons, images and everything. Whatever you change here will be changed all over your website. So there's been few things I changed. I changed this picture by clicking on the section and changing it here. Then I make it brighter by going to backgrounds overlay and make the color here brighter. You see, you can play the colors here. Then I change this button and I like it that way. And start today, I probably will put here some freebie or some mini course or I still don't know. Then I did this divider, shape divider, by just going to shape divider, bottom, I change it to mountains. Then here I put some heading and another heading. Then I change this, I change my picture and I wrote about myself and this will lead to the about page which I'm going to build. Then I, me I made a little divider here, clicking on this section and going down to shape divider. And here I choose the top because it's the top of this section and I chose my mountains again. Then I copied, I duplicate the button from the, from the top of my page and drag it to here and it will lead to my mini course or my free guide or whatever I'm gonna make. So this page is mainly going to call for to action, then something about myself and then call to action again. Because I will have my blog separately, I'll have my um, about page and probably I'll have some something that's connected to my YouTube channel to send my visitors to my YouTube channel too. So let's continue. Now we can change any page on our website exactly the same way. Go here and let's go exit to the dashboard. Don't forget to update and publish your changes. Then go exit to dashboard. So we're back to our dashboard and from here we're going to pages. Just click on that. Here you see all your pages. And let's go to block. Now we have our block blog um, archive they call it blog um, page that contains all the blog posts this is the blogs you insert by default with the template that you got but it's not gonna be like that it will be your recent blogs here and this page we can't edit with elementor so we only have option edit page regular edit and you click on that and don't worry it's a little bit different, but we're gonna make it. This is classic version of WordPress page builder. So this is very cute page and we can change this by just clicking and but I wanna leave it like that blog. I like blog. Here we see all the options. Background. And background we choose none or we choose color or we choose gradient or we choose image and we can replace the image now we move down we can do the different size and I like to do it cover and the overlay type you can choose what colors you want to be color 1 and then color 2 now we have to change the blog, or blog color, content, typography, here.
go into your dashboard and you go into pages and here all the pages and you can just delete pages that you don't like here just lay trash and then you go into trash and you delete it permanently if you want to add page you go into dashboard you go to pages and add new or you can click on new and choose page and I like to edit it with Elementor of course it's just so much easier here we go you just start creating your page from scratch putting heading and some text and some image and choosing the image here and resize it and do it everything you need or you can import your page from here you also can click on that and see elemental library and you have here free templates and blocks and you can choose from here too you have pro which is paid version and you have free you have contact page pages here this is free this is free you can choose from and you have pages you have a home page that you can insert and change and different pages so i show you how to add and delete pages how to edit your pages with elementor how to edit your pages with the classic version of web wordpress now let me show you how to change your menu and your uh, logo and everything that you need to know first of all this is your dashboard and you can go for, for your home page and all the things here let's go to settings for a second and we'll show you everything go to general and here you can find your site title and tagline so this is the site and this is the tagline you see word counter is the website name and count words and correct writing is the tagline so youtube is youtube and then you don't have any tagline so the same same with you you write your site title and your tagline and site title is the name of your site which is income hola and the tagline is like a little slogan or whatever you want to write here you have your url and it the https means that we have ssl installed and our website is secured this is administration email and you have also the date format time format and week starts on monday or sunday or whatever you decide and you save changes the next thing i want you to do is to go to writing here we finished with general now we're going to writing this is the settings for how you write your posts and all the writing on your website and we don't have to do here anything else reading Reading setting is just you decide if your home page is going to be home or any other page. Or and your post page you select that it's going to be your blog. Then you're going to choose how many posts show in your on your page and I like to make it maximum which is 99 save changes. So let's go down and discussion. And this is your comments, how they're gonna look and if you wanna filter them. You can read everything and choose what you prefer. And here I like to do a little comment moderation. When comments contain links, it that means most of the people that pay, put links on your comments, they just promote themselves. And if you don't want this to happen, you can hold a comments with two or more links or you can choose one or more links. And then you can write here words that if comment contains this word, it will be held and, and it won't be published. So, and also you have this allowed comment keys. And also here you have avatar. And this is how your users or how your commenters will be displayed. If they have a little gravatar or Google little picture, it's going to show. Click save changes and move to next one. There's nothing too much change about media and permalinks were already changed now let's go to our website and click on customize 
So now we are going to upload our logo and do all these crazy and nice things. So you are customized income on and let's go to the global. And now we see typography for the whole channel, colors for the whole channel, container and buttons. And whatever you change here, we're going to be changed for the whole website unless your theme decided something else. I don't want to change anything here right now. I just want to show you. Now let's go to header and site identity. And here you can upload your logo. So let's change logo. If you don't know how to make logo, you can watch my videos on this channel or also you can write comment below and I'll be happy to help you. But let's upload our files and I already made the logo, but you can make your logo with very simple with Canva or with Photopea. And I'll leave a link below this video if you want to check Photopea. You will have transparent logo in minutes. Very simple to use, very easy and free. <laughs> so we're just gonna upload my logo. select and now we have to resize it make sure you have it all and here is my logo and it's a little bit big right <laughs> let's make it smaller save icon or site icon is a little thing that you see here those little like Google you see the G and YouTube you see the play button or WordPress you see the W. This is a fave icon or site icon. So I don't have any, I didn't make any. I can make it the same like my logo. Now let's go down, click publish, click on the X. And this is how your logo looks. Something happened with my blog page for some reason. Now let's go to customize again and let's go this time to edit our footer here i like it this way but you can click on the pencil and change anything you want this is how you change your footer now your header is exactly the same you see your little icon this is changing your menu you click on that and you go into the menu and also you can go to your menu by get to header and then you go into primary menu and if you want to add page to your menu this is how you do it first you can choose what's gonna be last item in the menu right now it's widget and it's a social thing you can make it none nothing you see nothing and then you can make it a search icon this people can search your website or you can make it button if you want to add some call to action customize and let's go to menus so now you go to primary menu. Primary menu is your footer and header menu. And you can add items here. So you click on add items. You can decide if you choose from post, from categories, from tags, formats, and also from pages. So let's say we want to add blog page. We click on plus. And here it is, our blog. We click on publish. And you will see your blog in here blog content now if you want to change the order you drag and drop them here and they will change if you want blog to be first you can drag it drop it here and you see blog first i don't like it that way i like blog to be second and contact the last click on publish this is how you change your menu now whatever you've done here you will see on the footer the same thing appears. About 75% of people search the web through the mobile device. So we want to make sure our website is mobile friendly. Go to edit with Elementor again. And here, down here, you see responsive mode. Click on that and you can watch your website through tablet or how it looks on mobile. And let's say tablet, you already see that there are some problems. This is supposed to be in the middle layout. And you just do the width a little bit bigger and then you move your button to the middle. And you'll see the update will be only for tablet. Now, if you're going back and you want to watch it from desktop, still in the middle, tablet in the middle, 
mobile in the middle. Scroll down and make sure everything's okay. Let's say this one, I want to make it in the middle too. Yeah. And it will change only on mobile. I want this button in the middle. Click on that and make middle update. Going page by page and make sure everything looks good on your phone. This is a little bit too small. I can make it bigger because don't forget it's a small device. So let me make it bigger. I'm going to style, I'm going to typography. And you see this still icon? That means the size will change only on the mobile device. And now you make it as big as you like. Click update, scroll down and see if you like other things. This looks great. Now let's look at the, our menu. Home, blog, content, great. Please like this video, share it with everyone who wants to build its own website. And also I will appreciate a lot if you subscribe to this channel to support it. And that's all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.